steps for recovery from mold illness coming up here. I'm Dr. Diane, your chronic illness expert. Now, one of the first things to understand if you have mold illness, where the mold toxins have built up in your body, most likely you have a current exposure. It's possible that you have mold exposure from a past house or past office or past place that you visit it frequently. Most people I see in my practice though are do have a, a current exposure, especially if you have a wide variety, a laundry list of symptoms, right? So if your symptom list looks something like headaches, migraines, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, brain fog, POT, vision disturbances, noise sensitivity, light sensitivity, sleep disturbances, sweat, on and on and on and on and on, there's a good chance you're still being exposed. So step one is to get a ERMI or hurts me done. I'm gonna put a link in the show notes about how to get yourself a hurts me. And the idea of this is that most mold inspectors out there, even if they're certified, do not understand the biological impact of mold and they're not looking well enough because they don't understand the impacts. They don't understand how serious this is. So step one, see if you're living in it. Step two I tend to find is building the body up, helping the body be stronger. So when we are exposed to mold toxins, typically our thyroid gets impacted, our adrenals get impacted, our mitochondria gets impacted, melatonin, our sleep hormone gets impacted. So oftentimes when we help support our thyroid and our adrenals and our mitochondria and we give ourselves micronutrients, it's making us stronger so that when we, we can go through the detox better. So that's step two. Step three is going to be getting the toxins out. And this is really important to hear. If you are still living in mold and you try step three, most of the time you will feel worse. So you really wanna make sure you have that mold out before you start going down this process to detox. I go through this in such much more detail and break out, break down some more steps other than this in my book. So I'm gonna put a link to that in the show notes as well for you guys. And that will go through these steps, but it's real important that you are getting a proper test done and you're not just relying on somebody because they have good reviews online about being a mold inspector. The number of times I've seen certified mold inspectors miss mold is more than I can count, hundreds or thousands. It's so, 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 so many. So those are the steps. I hope this has been helpful. Please look in the show notes for how to get your, that link for your home inspection, as well as my book that'll go through this in much more detail. Please do subscribe to get more information just like this. I'll see you in another video.